if the teachers had Firefly, then how much more preparation could they do? Because they've got to write their lesson plans, they've got to write their lesson notes, and they only have daylight hours to do it. And honestly, a lot of them also have farms. So when they leave the school, they go to their farm. Mm -hmm. um, and chores there, you know, because there's no electricity, everything takes more time. You wash by hand, you mm -hmm. cook over a fire. So by the time you're finished with your activities, it's dark. I always had a passion as a young man to invent, to create things. And in 2009, we built the new facility that we're sitting in today. And part of that was to build in 8,400 square feet of R&D facility. The ability to begin to create our own products, to look at different marketplaces, and take all the experience that we had had over the 60 plus years and use it for a good purpose. And so we developed an R&D team and we called it Genesis. We thought about what we wanted to produce and what we wanted to invent. Um, Off-grid renewable energy became our focus. We felt like grid-tied solutions for renewable energy had been largely overplayed in the United States. When we thought about the markets we could serve, many of those markets did not have a grid to tie to. So we focus on off-grid technology, solar technology, and we thought the African market is the place we should go. had opportunities to go to Nigeria and Ethiopia and Ghana and Tanzania and we talked to people to help us understand what is needed here. And one of the Nigerian political leaders said we need a five light system that will give us 12 hours of light and the ability to charge a cell phone. Because interestingly enough, most Africans, while they don't have access to electricity, do have a cell phone. So we produced a product called Firefly and would last for 12 hours, keeping in mind that Africa is close to the equator and they have 12-hour days and 12-hour nights. We also took our experience with industrial applications and we applied it to the product. We wanted to make a product that was industrially hardened, that the customer would not have problems with. The last thing we wanted to do is give a product to somebody in Africa and them not be able to use it because it didn't function properly. So we spent a lot of time creating a product that was industrially hardened where the customer would have very little problems with it. Shifting cultivation, they cultivate in a certain piece of uh, land uh, till when the fertility uh, is gone, right. then they will leave the farm, go somewhere else. So just to get an idea, basically it's only five o'clock and although it's pretty bright outside here, here is the clinic going in. It's hard to tell, but it is, it's pretty dark. Um, certain rooms are very dark. Here's this room here. This is really one little window, so it's relatively dark. What happens here normally at night with the clinic? Does it just, there's no light, it just closes? We put uh, 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 a piece of cloth and the kerosene to light up. So they use kerosene light to a little torch thing? Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 So there's got to be a cord in here too. Yes. And that's got to yes. go in this big yeah. one. Maybe, maybe we open and uh, show them the cord. And then the lights will go 12 hours. Yeah. Right? You know, I show super kucha. Yeah, but it's working. It is working. It's working, yes. Yay. Yes. Okay. So the silver one? Firefly! Simeon Asante Firefly! Asante Firefly! We're hoping that this is something that maybe will help shed some light on things and enable the clinic to be open a little bit longer, maybe at, at, at night if needed, because now there will be some light. 
Here's the firefly. Here is the first light, which we have on with some nice pipe cleaners. This other room over here. And we've got, oh, you just turn the light on over here. And the third room, we have another one up here. He's just affixed it to the, to the roof here with his ingenuity. Say hi, Pusa. Thank you very much. This is uh, from AEG. Okay. AEG. AEG. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. AEG came about really out of a, um, the Genesis group and the Go Soul effort that was started in 2009, which really saw a great opportunity to marry these new products coming out of the Genesis group with the markets that exist in, in Africa, particularly initially uh, Tanzania and Nigeria. And so we created American Engineering Group, AEG, to uh, try to go capture those. Um, the name AEG really came from, you know, the fact that American products play really well in Africa. and We wanted to emphasize our approach, which is highest quality products and highest quality engineering to go behind it. This is Pusa again. This is uh, his first day after using the Firefly from AEG that was donated here. And Pusa just had his first night with it. So, how was it? Uh, now I, I can prepare my lesson plan well and uh, everything about my school. Uh -huh. uh, so I am very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Firefly gives you light. It gives you plentiful light. It gives you light for more than 12 hours. It extends the day all the way through the night. So anybody can install it. You don't have to know anything about solar power. You don't have to know anything about electricity. Firefly is the answer. Simple, easy to use, easy to install, less than six minutes, and you have light through the night. That's Firefly. You turn out your panel. I was cooking one night and somebody ran to me and said there's been an incident, Ezekiel's been bitten by a snake. And I ran there and found out that what had happened was he had been bathing outside and when he went into the house in, he opened the door to his room to get a flashlight and didn't see that there was a snake in the doorway. Wow. Had there been light this child wouldn't have been bitten and he was fortunate in that I know him and I had a vehicle and a driver and I could travel an hour and a half to get him medical treatment but most children don't have that privilege. Our intentions are to help your people out of poverty, and the product is just a path to do that. Certainly light and the technology that we bring is very welcome in those communities, but they've seen that before. They need something else that changes that cycle of poverty that they've been engaged in, and a big part of that is providing jobs. So one of the key differences you're going to see in AEG than you see in other companies that may be on the continent of Africa is that we're there to stay and we're there to integrate ourselves and provide value beyond the product to the communities that we serve.